So this really annoyed me. Now, there is overwhelming evidence that vitamin D deficiency, which is extremely common in the population, is contributing to our rise of major diseases from cancer to diabetes and dementia. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of pathways requiring vitamin D for activation and proper functioning. This hormone is essential for health. And one of the best preventive strategies that we can recommend to our patients is to keep them in the mid to upper part of the reference range for vitamin D3. And the majority of people will need to supplement with D3 and K2 in order to get there. But it seems to me that the pharmaceutical industry does not want physicians to even talk about vitamin D. So as an example, and there are many, there's an article in Medscape, an online medical publication mostly read by physicians titled Vitamin D, Save Your Money. Essentially, it's saying, well, they looked at a study that showed that vitamin D did not significantly prevent fractures or falls in older adults. So the U.S. Preventive Service Task Force is recommending against supplementation with vitamin D for community-dwelling adults aged 60 years or older. Now, this is their words. And this is, of course, a ridiculous metric to quote to make recommendations here. Most physicians, including myself, have very little education in our training when it comes to non-pharmacologic treatments, including vitamin D3. Yet many physicians will easily jump to dismiss the value of vitamins and other supplements as a waste of money or even a danger to health without ever having read any literature about the topic. Now, it may be okay not to be informed, but that does not make it okay to pretend that we are. And we know the incredible value that optimal vitamin D levels have on our immune system. And one of the first things that was done for hospital admissions to the ICU during our pandemic was to give massive boluses of vitamin D3 in order to support the person's immune system. Of course, at that point, it may have already been too late. I talk about the value of vitamin D3 frequently on my YouTube channel and have countless comments from subscribers that since they optimized the vitamin D levels had a significant reduction in colds or other infections every year and often a profound improvement in chronic illnesses. And while we should not hold our breath to wait for large, placebo-controlled, double-blinded, million-dollar studies about the benefits of a cheap and non-patentable molecule like vitamin D3 on specific diseases, we can get sufficient information from the literature that was published over the last 100 years.